Hi, this is Colleen. Welcome to the webinar. We'll be getting started shortly. While you're waiting, here are some tips to get the most out of your webinar experience. Streaming live video takes a lot of computer resources and internet bandwidth resources, so now's not the time to be downloading large files or anything else that drains your internet connection. And if possible, ask others to also avoid streaming movies or playing online games. For best results, turn off any unnecessary computer programs that may be running in the background. Some programs that can really impact your webinar viewing enjoyment are pages that constantly refresh, like Facebook, and programs that sync files in the background like Google Drive or Dropbox, so make sure you pause or close those apps. Now, when you first connect to the webinar, your screen resolution may be very low. The video starts at a low resolution and gradually increases once your available bandwidth is determined, so just give it a minute or two. Your picture should optimize based on your connection, how many tabs you have open, and your computer's processing power. From time to time, the audio or video feed might get interrupted. If your image is pixelated or blurry, or if your audio stops, just reconnect by clicking the reconnect button at the bottom of the screen by that red arrow. For your best enjoyment of the webinar, I recommend Google's Chrome browser for best performance. And although presenters make things look easy, giving a public speech is the number one fear, so please go easy on them. Restrict your chat conversation to positive comments that support the discussion and refrain from distracting other participants. Now, if you have a question, click this button to mark your comment as a question so it highlights it for us. Otherwise, we might not see it. And feel free to ask questions throughout the presentation while you're thinking of them. Your presenters may stop occasionally to answer the questions or we may choose to answer your questions at the end of the presentation or maybe have a moderator respond to you publicly or privately. And keep the chat related to the topic at hand. Any support issues you may have, make sure to send them as a private message either to myself or to an admin by hovering over their name and then clicking on the reply icon. That will allow you to engage in a private conversation without distracting others. Now here's something you might like. If you find the chat too distracting, just click this button and that will mute the chat conversation. And when you do that, you'll only see comments that myself or the admins make. And then just click the button again to toggle back when you want to see the chat. So close Skype, close down the instant messengers, your Facebook, put your phone on do not disturb, powder your nose, get some water, grab a pen and paper, and take notes. Thanks for joining us. We'll get started shortly. Just make sure once we get started to introduce yourself in the chat, who you are, where you live, and what you do for a living. And I'll see you shortly.